Good morning, everybody. Another new day is here. The snowstorm has passed us, and we got clear sailing all the way to British Columbia, according to the weather people. And you know, you can always trust the people on the news. You can always trust them when they say the weather's going to be good. 100%. But just in case, we're going to prepare for some bad weather anyways. We made it here to Mooseman, Saskatchewan, right where we wanted to make it to. Uh, so the storm did pass over us at night. Just like we had planned for it to. Now we're ready to rock and roll. We have a load of glass behind us underneath a tarp. And I have to deliver that into Surrey, British Columbia, Wednesday morning. I'm filming this on Monday. So we have all of today and all of tomorrow to get there. And I want to be at the customer tomorrow night so that I can wake up there first thing in the morning. Get unloaded. And then I have a reload around the same area coming back to Portage La Prairie, Manitoba. We've got this next week all carved out for us already. in Moose Jaw, but it's too cold for their DEF pumps to work, so I had to go next door to the Petropass to get DEF from them, because they have proper DEF pumps. I've shown you them before, right? They're separate pumps all together, they're completely insulated, and they're built for Canadian winter, so they, they never freeze up, and they work all winter long, right? Otherwise, you gotta go inside and pay like twice the price for these DEF jugs, and it makes no sense. I don't know why Pile of Flying J in Canada hasn't figured this out and sort of gone the same road as Petropass. Probably because they're based down in the US and they don't pay much attention to us up here. They only have a few stores opened up north of the border for the money. They don't really care about practicality or if it works or if things are different because the weather is different here. They don't really care about that kind of stuff. They just care about the dollar signs, right? That's why they got businesses up here. So. Maybe eventually they'll realize that the same pumps that they use in the U.S. don't work up here in Canada because it gets colder here. But Petropass has got it nailed down pat. It's, it's great. Next time I go through one, I'll, I'll show it to you. It's a whole separate pump. It's like painted bright blue so you know it's DEF. And uh, you got to you know, pump it separately than the diesel. It's not all on the same transaction. It's separate transactions. But... Uh, it works and then you don't have to worry about your pumps freezing up which is very inconvenient and in my opinion unprofessional if you offer bulk def which is a necessity in trucks nowadays it's not just diesel fuel that you need you need diesel exhaust fluid it helps with the emissions you have to have it or your truck won't run well then why aren't you offering proper pumps that can dispense that product. What if all the diesel pumps froze up and nobody could buy diesel? That would be a big problem. It's just as big of a problem with DEF. My own opinion here, my own little rant, but I, I think you guys can understand and especially those of you who drive up here as well with me, you know what I'm talking about with those separate pumps that Petro has. 
but that's Petro Pass. That's Petro Canada. That's not like the same as Petro Travel Centers in the U.S. It's a Canadian company up here. You know, if you are going to open up stores up here, I appreciate it because I like it that Flying J is on both the Canadian and American sides. I really like that. But they really should send a few people up here to investigate what it's like up here in the temperatures and how they can, you know, build their truck stops and travel plazas to accommodate the weather. Is that, does that make sense? Build it right so that it works year round. That's just my thoughts. <laughs> this is a pretty crazy view. This is like that Red Bull vehicle. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know what that thing is. Completely custom. That is what it is. It has GM mirrors on it. That's the only thing I can recognize. So maybe it's a GM frame. I don't know what Red Bull did with that thing. That thing looks like the, the, almost looks like the van from Jeepers Creepers. I just swung into the Petro Pass here in Medicine Hat, Alberta, uh, to pick up some more anti-gel. Because the temperature around Calgary tonight is supposed to dip down to about minus 35. So that's fun. So I figured better be prepared. So far we've uh, been able to prevent ourselves a, an emergency or two just by being prepared. So. I'm sitting at about a three-quarter tank right now. I have anti-gel in my fuel already. But uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna fuel at the Petro Pass on the west side of Calgary before heading into BC. And then I'm hoping to get to Golden maybe tonight. It's supposed to be warmer there. And then we'll go into BC and we'll come back and make sure that uh, we'll check the weather before fueling on the way back, see if we need more anti-gel or not. I usually start putting anti-gel in my tanks once it starts hovering around minus 25 or lower. Unless if I have American fuel in my tanks. If I have American fuel in my tanks, then uh, I start putting anti-gel in uh, once it gets close to minus 20. And I'm talking in Celsius. Because that's the only measurement that makes sense to me. Zero degrees is freezing, 100 degrees is boiling. In reference to water, the boiling point of water is 100 Celsius and the freezing point of water is zero Celsius. I guess that makes more sense. Here in Calgary and it's dropped to a moderate minus 27 degrees, not too bad. After last week, this is almost summer weather. Show me where the beach is. I'm on uh, Route 201 going around the north side of Calgary. I'm gonna fuel up in Cochrane, like I was saying before, on the west side of town. I might even just stay there for the night if there's parking there. Because between Cochrane, Alberta and Golden, BC, there's not too many good places to park for the night where there's a 24-hour shelter or a truck stop that's open. So I think I might just stop there 
That'll leave me with about 900 or so kilometers to do tomorrow. So it shouldn't be a problem, as long as there's no big snowstorms in the mountains. I'd rather not chain up. We'll see how I feel once I get there. I'm thinking that's where we're going to spend the night. And then we can deal with the mountains, all of them, tomorrow. I should have no problem getting to Surrey on time. At least I got all day tomorrow to get there. exactly 911 kilometers to Surrey and our destination from here. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. We're gonna stay here for the night. First, we're gonna fuel up our tanks because it's dropped down to minus 29. Fuel up our tanks and make sure that uh, we're ready for the night. And find a place to park around here somewhere. This way I know that uh, my truck for some reason doesn't wanna run at night. I have a warm shelter to go into. Just gotta grab some fuel first. Is that a fuel lane off on the left there? I think so, right? And there's parking out back by the looks of it. Good, good, good. Why aren't the lights working here? Hopefully this pump is working. Diesel fuel here, yeah. Should work. All right, let's make sure that we have full tanks. All fueled up. I've got to find a place to park here. You can just see how cold it is. Just by all these trucks idling here. Look at all that. That's not smoke. <laughs> just like vapor. So cold out. Oh, these guys can't park straight to save their lives. Wow. Wow. Take a look at this. Take a look at this here. I gotta show you this. Look at that. Look how these guys parked. Unreal. Well, I think I found a pretty sweet spot. <sighs> right on the edge of everything. No neighbors, I got this little pickup beside me here. It's not even here, a couple of drop trailers, so there's gonna be no noisy people beside me. And I'm right on the edge here, so that diesel can have a quick run around here. It won't be too long because his paws get really cold fast, so it'll be a quick 
run, squirt, and run back. <laughs> At least we have this whole area here. I'm happy with it. This is gonna be a good night. To, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow is the big day when we deliver this. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching today's vlog. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but the mic actually comes off the camera, so I figure I can just hold it here like a news reporter. Breaking news! The vlog is over. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button if you did like the video. Tomorrow's another video, and it's going to be real scenic because we're driving through the mountains of British Columbia. I hope you join us. I hope you subscribe and join the TJV family here on YouTube. Love to have you aboard on our journey to 100,000. I'll see you tomorrow.